Hey everybody, it's Ron Henry Satus. I'm going to show you how to make Persian bar kebab or kebab bag. Let's get straight into it. So what I have in front of me here is a piece of lamb backstrap. Now generally lamb is used, but a lot of the time beef is also used. So use whichever you like. Lamb does come out better, so I prefer to use a lamb. And that's how we serve it in my restaurant. Now the first thing we need to do is trim it. So you want to look for any burns or any excess fat like over here and you just want to trim that off. You can either throw that out or save it to make mince of it. Little pieces like this you can leave, that's fine. So what we'll do now is flip it over and check this side too. Any sinew as well, take it off. Just like so. So the way I do mine is I'll use my knife as a guide. So I turn my knife like that two times. That'll be the width of each piece that I want. So we'll start from here, turn the knife once, cut it there. Repeat. That way every piece comes at the same size. So we're just going to repeat that. And that's our excess there. Now next step is simple. So that's one piece there. What we're going to do is use our knife to butterfly this into three pieces. So just use an estimate with your eye. You want this in thirds. And just cut all the way through. But stop at about that much. You don't want to go all the way through because we want to butterfly this. I will flip it over, repeat it again, and there we have it, that's one piece butterfly. Take off the excess, just so you're left with a perfect almost rectangle. Now for each skewer I'll put two pieces like this on. So we'll repeat it again, once again in thirds. Flip it over. Just like so. And that's another piece done there. So as you can see, we'll put those two together and it becomes one skewer. Now if you're doing more, go ahead and butterfly the rest. I'm just going to show you how to go ahead with this. So the next step is pretty simple. What we're going to do is lay out our backstrap like so. So that's how it's going to come out. So this step is pretty straightforward. You'll see a lot of people, they use the blunt edge of the knife to actually tenderize it. What I do, I'll quickly just go over it like that with the blunt side. Just like that. What this does is it tenderizes the meat. Once you've done that then with the sharp side, and that's done. Now we can skewer this. So I'm just using long metal skewers like so, just like the ones I use for all my kebab recipes. You want to make sure the tip is extra sharp. Skewering bag is very precise because you need to get it right through the center or else the skew is going to come out. So we'll start at the bottom, get it in the center, and then just put your fingers down on the meat. That way you'll feel if the skew is coming out. And then you just want to guide your skew all the way through until it comes out the end, just like that. So as you can see, it's out in a few places here. That's fine, as long as your meat stays on the skewer like so. After that, using your sharp knife, you want to just trim off this excess so it becomes a straight line. Just like that. And that's one perfect barrack skewer right there. So we'll move on and marinate this and I'll show you how to cook it. So what we're going to do now is make our barrack marinade. 
But a marinade is more of a base because we only put it on when we're about to cook. You, you can't marinate it for like a day and then use it, that's fine. But anything more, it's going to dry the meat out. So just in a bowl here, I've got the juice of half an onion. So brown onion, I've just grated it and squeezed out the juice. That's it there. Now to this, we're going to add about half a teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of black pepper. About a tablespoon of olive oil. Half a teaspoon of red sumac. And the most important ingredient in bag, one tablespoon of saffron water. And all we're going to do is just mix this around and get that nice and dissolved and combined. So that's ready. So what we're going to do now is preheat our grill and we'll start cooking. So once your grill is hot, what we're going to do is just get our marinade and we're just going to brush both sides of our barrack skewer. Flip it over, and of course we're going to brush this side as well. Now this marinade will be enough for about three skewers. So what we're going to do is go to our grill now, take the skewer with us and the marinade with us as well. So once your grill is hot, we're going to go ahead and place our skewer straight on. Now with barrack, you want to go at a medium heat, not too high, because it will cook faster than your general other kebabs. After about 30 seconds, we'll flip our skewer. This will just seal the meat to ensure all that juice stays inside. After another 30 seconds, we'll flip it back. And basically all we're going to do now is every 30 seconds flip it until it's cooked all the way through. This shouldn't take longer than about 3 to 4 minutes. So we're at the 4 minute mark now, and as you can see it's nice and brown, and by touching it, it's nice and firm. So we are ready to serve it. So once that's ready, what we're going to do is brush each side with our marinade again, right before serving. And we'll take it off the heat and we'll serve. So I've just got some Persian basmati rice here with saffron. And for our barrack, push down from the top, place your skewer on the plate, and push it all the way up like that. Now to give you an idea what it should be like, you should be able to pull the meat apart just with a fork and knife like that. So that's the whole reason why we cut into it like that. It tenderizes it, and you can just pull it apart like that. And that's how we make Persian barrack kebab. I hope you like that guys, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. If you have any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.